Philip Mirkovic, Mac Herman, preseason watch list brings seven assists into this match. That's fifth in Division One. Coach Briz told us that they go as Mayola goes. It's his 60th career game tonight, had an assist last week against Clemson. No whistle there, and here comes Virginia Tech on another quick counter opportunity. Up ahead here for Kinyua, and he's got a breakaway. Nothing in front of him, just him and Carter, and it goes past Cabral Carter. Virginia Tech goes up one to nothing at Ambrose Urbanic Field. Center midfield, you see there Quill picking him out. Diagonal ball onto the nice run. He's able to just pick a spot and slide it home. Call as you like. And as his coach says about him, as Mayola goes, that's how Virginia Tech goes. And Mayola's just got him up 1 0. So that looks like it's going to be a good night for Virginia Tech. So now Noah Hall, after winning that starting job, has come up limping here. And we'll see if he's able to return. But now we're going into the bench. Felipe Mercado started the last number of games. He's he'll out. Put himself about, and he'll exhaust himself trying to find the equalizer for the Panthers. Looking for him here. He has some space in front of him. Can he capitalize? No. He can't believe it, but what a save there from Adams. Yeah, he lost his feet, and now Virginia Tech are going the other way. It's the same story. Pew trying to chase it down. He's got it. There's Carter with a foot stop. Mirkovic, a line shot right over the net. Now under 15 minutes for Pitt to get something going. Left forward for Silly. Crossed in. That one toward the net. Just wide. Oh, that was a great save by Adams. That was a really nice chance by Feitosa. That was almost like a no-look shot. Honestly, he, it glanced so easily that I thought it was wide of the net at first. This one toward the net into the back. Jackson Gilman with a powerful header. Levels up this game. That's a huge goal for Pitt, and Adams is finally beaten. Unbelievable goal for Pitt. Yeah, that's a great header by Gilman. He gets up and beats Howard. That is just massive for this team. Powerful header. And the calmness with which he's able to put it home. Nothing Adams can do about it. Mirkovic again. Fetosa taken down outside the box. Possession won by Torre. Now Silly lines it up and gets it past Adams. Raphael Silly puts the Panthers up top. And the Panthers have a 2 1 lead. Adams couldn't keep it out. And Silly coming on as a replacement for Noah Hall, who got hurt. The ball kept bouncing around the box. It fell to Silly. He knows what to do with it, puts it on target. The shot is too strong for Adams, can't get his hands behind it, and it's in the back of the net. All came about from a broken play. And that's why you want to test the goalkeeper, see what he can do, put shots on frame. Yeah, and that's why you can't look at the standings too much, but obviously you're aware of them. And I always used to say every team that you beat, you're going to finish above. Silly, leaving it open. Back in the center, Feitosa! What a beautiful goal. Back heel flick by Feitosa. So the no-look shot once again. Absolutely. Pitt pouring it on here late. Three to one now for the Panthers. What a surge of offense in the last eight minutes. Sheer will. Is silly again, making an impact. Provides a service across the box. Evan McIntyre plays it back in. And look at Feitosa. He gives up on the cross from Silly and just turns little left foot back heel flick into the back of the net. Wow. That's class right there. That is absolute class. Beautiful goal. Really impressive work by Pitt to claw their way back into this when the momentum was against them. A 3-1 to one victory for the Pitt Panthers, their seventh straight against the Virginia Tech Hokies. Guillerme Feitosa with the backbreaker.
The no-look third goal, Rafael Silly 